Berry leather is an essential resource for crafting most of the tier 2 weapons, tools, and armor in Grounded. If you want to craft berry leather, then you will first need to obtain berry chunks from the berries in the hedge biome, and then using a workbench or a jerky rack, you can convert those berry chunks into berry leather. If you need more info, then maybe I can help you with the rest of the video. What up? It's Tiny Pirate Gaming back with another Grounded Tutorial video, and this time I'll be covering how to farm berry leather fast and easy. But before I move on with the video, if you're a fan of Grounded related, Grounded themed content, then you've discovered the right channel, because that's basically all that I do here, and if you enjoy that, you could do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button, and I hope that this video earns your subscription today. In order to craft berry leather, you will first need a means of knocking the hedge berries down from the branches of the hedge. For this task, I suggest using a basic sprig bow and regular arrows because they can be easily crafted and repaired. To craft a sprig bow, you will need three sprigs, four nat fuzz, and two crude rope. And in order to craft a bundle of ten arrows, you will need two mite fuzz and five thistle needles. Once you have a bow and some arrows, you're ready to go harvest some hedge berries, so make your way to the southeastern corner of the backyard and into the hedge biome. I recommend starting your hedge berry harvest in the western region where there are usually less dangerous creatures to contend with while shooting down the berries. Once you are in the hedge biome, you can use your bow and arrows to shoot down the blue colored hedge berries from the branches in the canopy above. Once the hedge berries have been knocked out of the branches, you will be able to use your axe to break the berry down into berry chunks, which you can put into your inventory. Most hedge berries will drop either three or four berry chunks, so make sure to have room in your backpack to carry the berry chunks you plan to harvest. A helpful hint for shooting down hedge berries is to switch to first person so that you can be more accurate with each shot and thereby save more arrows. Also, keep in mind that the deeper you move into the hedge biome, the more likely you are to encounter orb weaver spiders who nest in the area beneath the hedge lab. Once you have obtained enough berry chunks, you can return to your base camp and by using a workbench or a jerky rack, you will be able to convert the berry chunks that you have harvested into berry leather. It's also worth mentioning that when using the workbench to swiftly craft berry leather, it will cost you three times berry chunks to produce a single berry leather. The most efficient, albeit longer, method to produce berry leather is to use a jerky rack which will give you one berry leather per one berry chunk, which means more leather per harvest. I highly recommend farming for berry leather as soon as possible because it is one of the primary resources which will be needed to craft and repair most of the tier 2 armors, weapons, and tools in the game. And that covers everything you need to know about how to farm berry leather fast and easy and grounded. If you enjoyed the video, you could do me a huge favor by gently touching the like button, and if you want to see more grounded tutorials or tips and tricks, then I hope that this video earned your subscription today. Also, if you ever want to come ask me about Grounded or other games live, then I invite you to follow me on Twitch.tv where I livestream. Also, if you'd like to keep up with hashtag Tiny Crew community news, feel free to follow me on Twitter or join the Tiny Pirate Gaming Discord. Links to all of those can be found down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time... Arm, matey. Watch your step. There be a Tiny Pirate here.